Hi, my name is Therine Depesso and I'm a part of Group 3. As you know, it's the time for gift giving and it's almost here. But imagine walking into your favorite convenience store and purchasing a toy. You glimpse at the maker and you realize it's made in China. But why not made in the U.S.? But who cares? It's cheap. So why not buy it? You should care enough to ask, what is at stake here? Whose blood, sweat, tears were used in making the product? How does this, does this affect family, your health, and your job? Most of us would not think twice, but it affects you. I was first introduced to this when I took the social, social, society and development class my first semester in John Jay. And I was shocked at the documentary on Walmart, which is on the high cost of a low price, created by Robert Greenwald of Brave New Films. Now, it is important to note that both China and US is affected in one way or another by outsourcing. What I plan to do today is inform you on the effects of good or bad on the relationship between China and US in terms of outsourcing, and what you can do is draw your own conclusions on whether the relationship is harmful or beneficial. First, let's, let's look at the cons of outsourcing to China. Um, many employment and business possibilities are housed in China, which in turn reduces employment opportunities in US, business structures in US, U.S. exports and opportunities in other countries as well. Uh, Chinese factory workers are indirectly paid by U.S. companies causing reduction in money flow in the U.S., lower circulation of monies in the U.S. financial institutions, which means that um, as a result, less working class salaries means less business for us here in the U.S. It also, in effect, contributed to the recent U.S. recession. And also, the trickle-down effect means that um, it's detrimental to Chinese workers. As mentioned in the Walmart documentary, the high cost of a low price, one of the Chinese workers, a female, she said that she worked from 7.30 a.m to 10.30 p.m. seven days a week for less than three dollars a day. That's, yes, you heard right, it's three dollars a day. And this is all to keep production costs low here in the U.S. And out of that three dollars a day, she also has to pay rent. And if this is not a choice. She has to pay rent whether or not she lives there. And as a result, also, the Chinese workers are forced to lie during inspections. They are rewarded if they lie, and they are punished if, or fired if they do not. Now let's look at the pros. As you can see from the slide, these are products that are made in China. Um, many of the products and services by China are ridiculously low, which, are, which in turn keep production costs low as well. And low production costs equals increased profits for the U.S. companies. For example, the iPod in Chinese in China, sorry, it has, it has assembled for four dollars and then sold in the U.S. for three hundred dollars. This is according to the Financial Times information on ChinaDaily.com. And a Barbie doll, which was made for 35 cents, is sold for $10 in the US. In Walmart, a toy that is assembled for 80, 18 cents is sold for $15. Most of these jobs are taxing on the body. So it is oftentimes rejected by many of us living here. And to fill in the gap, they would um, 
turn to outsourcing. And that is why they choose China. A testimony by the famous talk show host, writer, and actor, media critic, and stand-up comedian, John Stewart, he tested out this by uh, working on a Mexican farm, which is similar to what the Chinese have to go through. And he almost fainted due to the intensity of the job. It shows you how intense these jobs are. In an attempt to keep profits high, Chinese are paid $3 per day, or equivalent to $90 per month. And they have to work seven days a week for 15 hours a day. And this was stated in the Walmart documentary, 2011. Other beneficial fact factors are less pollution in the U.S. Because these factories are housed outside of the U.S., it means that we have less pollution here and it's more exports for China. Uh, to sum up my discussion, to sum up my discussion on the issue, we look at both sides of the spectrum, which is Chinese view and the US view, and we made pointers on the positive and negative effects on both the US and China. And we must make note that no system is void of pessimism, in the end, we should decide on the best move forward for both parties. And I will end with the quotes, two quotes by Barack Obama, provided by BrainyQuote.com. Now, anybody who thinks that we can move this economy forward with just a few folks at the top doing well, hoping that it's going to trickle down to working people who are running faster and faster just to keep up, you'll never see it. And the next one, we gather to affirm the greatness of our nation, not because of the height of our skyscrapers, or the power of our military, or the size of our economy. Our pride is based on a very simple premise, summed up in a declaration made over 200 years ago. Thank you for listening. Okay, it was a little long, seven minutes.